I see you want to send out shell commands from NeoVim. You want an easy and convenient way to open up new Tmux pop-ups, Tmux sessions. You want to integrate some of those uh, current line, current word type of things that you're on in NeoVim. It's kind of tough. You kind of got to configure your own thing. Maybe write some Lua. I wrote a plugin called Telegraph um, to solve this exact problem. The problem I was having was um, trying to find some hotkeys to run shells uh, with some context about maybe my current file, line, my current word, or working directory. Without parsing them all each time, I ended up with like 20 lines of Lua anytime I wanted to do something. And I kind of noticed there was a pattern here. And I was able to abstract it away into a pretty small uh, plugin I call Telegraph. We can install it with plug. Um, missing some quotes here, so if you grab that, make sure you have the quotes. Um, and then we can just start, you know, popping up some uh, remaps here. Just call it Telegraph. Um, maybe go over here. Oh, we're in the README. Um, maybe we want to do this one here with this uh, man page searcher. Let's do a uh, telegraph and tmux. Brings up the tmux man page. Um, jumping over to e bindings here. So I had another one here to search the man page, but bring it up in a tmux pop-up. So if I do leader, leader leader m, brings up this nice uh, Lua require. Eh. It looks a little ugly, but I can still just type out tmux. Bring up tmux in this little pop-up. Maybe we're uh, working on some sed. Can't remember all the options here. And we want to search for, you know, debug. And let's go back to this readme here. I want to open this up in a slide shell. I like doing much slides in the terminal. And markdown makes them super fast to be able to edit. Uh, Leader Leader S brings up Look at Me. Um, did that. Another one here. Uh, just does a Lua require telegraph dot telegraph. Pipx run. And then I have a slightly special version of Look at Me. Essentially, um, my blog's front matter had a little bit extra information that Look at Me didn't like. So I forked it, added that to it. I have my own special one. So now, I can open it up in a tmux window or a tmux pop-up. Nice here we can show the difference between the two. Um, notice I opened it up in a tmux window. So now um, I get my alt B to go back to where I was. Um, I have that set up with uh, tmux uh, last B off topic. Uh, switch client dash L. Um, so it opens up this new pop up here based on the file name that I was in. Uh, so it's based on the session and file name. Um, the other way we could do it, uh, go back to this readme, leader leader capital S, brings it up in a little pop up uh, that maybe if I'm uh, editing this live, maybe I want to like just peek at it real quick. If I want to open it up in a pop up, um, you know, most of the time I probably just want it in its own session. And I can just go back and forth um, with the live edits. Let's look at opening up an image with it. Um, something I can do is I can go up to, I have some images just in my blogs redirect files. Uh, later, later, I will do a telegraph, uh, fa on the C word. Uh, I can close. Even if I didn't have this set up as a e binding, I can run. Telegraph, uh, and then we just do a bracket, C, capital word, we grab that full word, and we open it up in that. So, uh, another super cool one is uh, for opening up some data. So I'm going to jump over to this Base Flights project, and it's got some data in a catalog in a CSV file. I can do leader leader VD opens it up in Visidata, and I can just start uh, kind of slicing through and looking at this uh, data. 
type them into the shuttle type V5. Um, maybe we want to look at the different locations of these V5s. Um, and we'll see, Barbados is pretty popular, so we'll look at all the Barbados uh, V5 launches. Um, went all the way back out. Oh, went all the way out of Tmux. Reattach in. That's pretty much it so far. Um, I got uh, a list of format strings in the README. Uh, these are all things that you can go ahead and pop into some braces and it will automatically fill in based on uh, the current context of your editor. I've got a small gallery with these uh, short clips showing, uh, showing how to use it. Uh, let me know what you think. Give it a star. Give it, uh, give me a comment. Uh, if you like it, uh, let me know if you use it. I'd love to hear. Uh, reach out to me on Twitter. As always, I'm going to have uh, links to everything down below. Um, we have a new ending screen here. I forgot to hit. And this is going to have our links to other videos.